I found an easy way to keep my weekly dinner budget around $100 by using one affordable meat option, chicken legs. The goal was to make four simple meals with this one ingredient. And my total grocery budget for the entire week was $150 for my family of three. So here is everything we had for dinner this week. My name is Laura and welcome to Applewood. Monday is typically a day I do some grocery shopping very early. So I'm going to spare you the boredom of the run of the mill chain store and just take the time to appreciate this little local farmer's market that's just a few miles from home. And this place is usually a madhouse of craziness. Sometimes I can't find a parking spot. So very early is often better. And that being said, I am here quite a lot. And today there is this great buy on cabbage and this was not on my menu for the week but that's probably going to change. And I found this absolutely gigantic one. I had a hard time holding the camera to pick it up, but what I'm really looking for is cauliflower. And these were nice, but a bit pricey, and I'm gonna buy it anyway. And then I found these bags of mini peppers, and I think this will come in handy for dinner today. Someone in a video mentioned that one way she saved money was to buy one kind of meat for the entire week and that's what her family ate. And I think this can actually really work. So I got these chicken legs for $1.19 per pound and bought what ends up being 25 chicken legs. And I figure I can get four really easy meals out of this and then I only have to fill in the rest of the week. So it's perfect. And out of the gate then for Monday is chicken cacciatore. Now this is such an easy recipe that it's pretty much a dump and go one pot meal. And I have another project going on today, so I am throwing it together with about 75 cents worth of mini peppers, $1.69 worth of mushrooms, and of course this canned pasta sauce, which is actually a pretty clean ingredient store-bought item at about $2. So in total, this meal, along with the spaghetti, feeds the three of us for around $9 to $10. And this was perfect for what was going to be a busy Monday. Tuesday is a tuna noodle casserole, and I don't really have an actual recipe for this. It's basically just thrown together because it's just a rustic, simple home-style dish made from green beans, spiral pasta, and two cans of tuna along with the sauce of your choice. I, in this case, I use broth and sour cream. I top it with cheese, and this is just a wonderful, clean, classic, very unfussy meal with not a whole lot of work involved. By the time it is finished, I have a hearty meal for two, coming in at roughly a price of about $7 with leftovers for a quick lunch. And boy, you gotta love these old school casseroles. They are absolutely the definition of comfort food. Too many scobies going on right now. I've got a lot of them. But Tuesday made me realize that I really needed to brew up some kombucha. My little boy is currently on antibiotics for an ear infection and well, when he's done with the course, I am eager to get some good gut bacteria back into his little belly. Now, I initially made a quick combination of mango juice with the fermented tea. 
and soon discovered that the flavor is just way too syrupy for my family. And then I suddenly remembered that I have a ton of nasturtium flowers in the yard and these are particularly good for your health. So I picked a bunch of those with some lemon balm. I bathed and sent them through the salad spinner to get off the dirt and of course any little buggers that may be hitching a ride. And steeping these flowers in hot water gives you this beautifully deep purple liquid that turns into a vibrant pink once it is mixed in with the mango and the tea. Now I am looking forward to drinking this. The smell is terrific and I am no longer worried about losing those buds to an overnight deep frost. This is going to be such a treat. This particular day has been a long time coming. I have moved my artist studio from the shed into the upstairs living room. So this is going to be a winter that I am looking forward to as I get back into painting. And this is more than just a hobby for me. It is a passion that has been on the back burner way too long. A few hours in the studio always goes by way too fast, and it is time to settle into making dinner. Tonight I am making six chicken legs in a curry sauce with a side of cauliflower rice. Now I can this green tomato masala sauce, and I am so excited to eat this because I love a good curry. This dinner was very easy as I marinated the chicken legs and then simply cooked them in the sauce. Cauliflower rice, on the other hand, is a dish that is a hot mess to make. After roasting the riced cauliflower, I always add a bit of broth along with onions, pepitas, and sliced almonds to the mix. It's very tasty and it's always a great swap for rice. But there's always this incredible mess to clean up after. On the flip side, I did get three bags to freeze for a later date. You good? It's good. Is it good? Yes, it's good. It's good. It's rather cold today, and I couldn't help myself but to travel to a local park and watch the waterfall for a scant few minutes. I do this about every autumn. It's completely quiet and almost magical. I'm looking for inspiration, I guess. Fall is definitely my season. I love the color, the nip of the cold in the air. I am a November baby and that suits me just fine. But what am I going to do with that six pound cabbage? Well, vegetable soup, of course. This is one of those pots that doesn't need a recipe. I just throw it together with broth and seasonings. And today I'm using ground beef along with celery, carrots, onions, and cabbage. What is so delightful about this soup is its propensity to just always make a lot. So I'm not cooking on Saturday and that's just something I'm looking forward to. I serve this with a simple handmade biscuit. It's a nice, hearty, uncomplicated meal on a cold day. It's Friday and I found a pretty good price on steak. 
Since it's warm enough to grill, today I'm giving my eight-year-old some quality protein to help him over the last of that ear infection. Now, I would love to show you how the meal turned out, but it promptly got devoured by the men before they realized I needed a few photos. I did, however, make potato chaffles. Here's what they look like, and they were good. And this is what's left of the brownies I made for the boy. No, they won't last the weekend. And I'm finding that I'm looking forward to the evening, knowing nobody has to go anywhere important tomorrow. On Saturday, we are always working on projects at home and I am going to finish painting the dining room. I picked this Sherwin-Williams warm gray color called Downing Sand and we're going to do some gallery walls coming up here very soon, so I need to get this job done. It's a very good day then to have warm ups. I opted for a simple cheese sandwich and tomato soup and the boys had leftovers as well and I didn't have to cook. It's Sunday and tonight we are again having chicken in a recipe I call Chicken Provence, which is a combination of lemon, a touch of white wine, broth, and some French spice blends, which includes tarragon. Again, a very simple recipe of just throwing it together and then finishing the sauce with sour cream. And this makes for a great side dish or even soup if you were to add white beans. Today's vegetable is the last of the red Swiss chard, which I cooked with leeks and shallots. And all of these were directly from the garden. So the expense of the meal was kept to an absolute minimum. According to my estimate, again, about $7 for three servings. It always helps when you can have a side dish that comes out of your garden and costs you nothing. So this is how I managed to stretch a dollar and I think that buying one meat on sale for the entire week is really a good idea. I was able to plan easily, opting for simple meals that kept the cost down. My week's budget for groceries stayed at under 150, which includes other necessities that were not directly related to dinner. So we did well this week and it didn't get boring. And this is all for me today. I now need to get ready for the new week ahead. So let me know what you do to stretch your grocery dollar because more ideas are always better. Leave a like and a subscribe and thank you for watching.